Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do mixed media morsels main dish number nine and I'm going to use a little canvas board. Uh, this is something that Crayola makes. They have these in black and also in white and it's basically like um, a piece of chipboard, a pretty good thick piece of chipboard and it has a uh, canvas texture on it. I don't know if you can see that texture there but it has like the surface that like a canvas would have and um, I had these black ones that I've had for gosh I don't know how long but I thought I would use one today to make a little project um, these come in a 9 by 12 size but I wanted a 6 by 12 so I cut off a, a 3 inch piece of one of the boards that comes with two so I cut off a 3 inch piece so I have a 6 by 12 uh, piece of canvas board that I'm going to use. And because it's black, I wanted to uh, tone that down a little bit and have it not quite so dark. And so I put a coat of white gesso on it. And uh, now I'm going to uh, collage uh, some pieces of uh, hymnal pages that I tore out. And um, these will look a lot brighter on a white surface than they would on that black surface. So I'm going to collage those down, and um, then when I come back, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on this canvas. Um, so I'll be back in just one second. Okay, so here's the uh, finished canvas board. It's, um, it's all dry now. And um, I wanted to do something fun on this that I've never done before. I remember a long time ago, I saw something on Pinterest 
where uh, I think it was a child's lesson or a lesson for children. Uh, and they were using uh, flowers, real flowers, as a stamp type of thing and making prints with flowers, with real flowers. And I thought, hmm, well, I'm just a kid at heart, so <laughs> I want to stamp with flowers too. So um, a couple weeks ago when it was my birthday, my daughter gave me some um, really nice chrysanthemums, nice big flowers. And I enjoyed them uh, so much, and now they are at the point where they're they're not going to, you know, they're not useful very much anymore. You can see the uh, the petals are starting to uh, fall off here. Uh, the leaves already dried up and fell off, but they are just beautiful. I mean, you can see the tops of the flowers are still just gorgeous. So I wanted to use a couple of these and do some stamping with them and. Um, I tore out a couple of sheets of uh, dictionary paper just to practice on, basically, you know, do some tests, see which colors I like, that kind of thing. So I thought I would do this, and I'm going to use a paper plate, and I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to do one with two colors first. This one is um, I'm going to do like a red and a purple mixed together. So I think I'm going to just make a circle of paint about the size, you know, of the flower head. So it's going to be roughly that big. <laughs> and I know it's not going to be exact, but this is just for, for play, you know, for fun. And um, so I'm just going to make a, a circle, if I can get the paint to come out. There we go. Just make a, a circle in the paint, just like that. And I'm going to do some purple in the middle or on the inside of that flower, I should say. I think it'll be fun to get more than one color at a time. And of course, you know, this is gonna end up mixing all together at some point as we go along with the stamping, but I just wanted to do it because I think it'll be really fun. I might get one more lighter color of purple to put in there. Here we go. Let's put this in the center just to uh, brighten it up and make it fun. Okay, so I'm just going to hold on to the flower stem and press it into, I'm gently pressing it first, just to get it to touch the paint. Okay, so you can see what it looks like there. A little bit of colors here and there. There's not quite enough of that reddish color here. Let me get some more of that right here. Okay. And I'm going to get a little bit more of the purple stuff, too. Okay, so let's just push it down see what we get. Okay, so that's fun. All right, I'm going to do it some more and just use up, you know, the paint that's here. turn it and do it again just to make sure I get all the colors all the way around. Oops, I'm getting dried flower bits on my paper. Here we go. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And then I can also add in some brown or something in the centers. Um, you know, once these are dry or whenever. But I just think this is fun. Uh, it's a neat way to use your flowers that you're gonna end up throwing in the trash anyway. So before they get, you know, completely gone, it'd be fun to stamp with them, make some prints from real flowers. I think that's awesome. So once I've done a few of these and decide which color I like the best, then I'd like to do one on that canvas that I made. And uh, it's got a petal in that one. <laughs> so I, I kind of think I'm liking the one gets down towards the end uh, more. You can see it's got a little bit more um, detail on it. The first ones look just kind of a little splotchy, and I can add more to that also. This one looked, you know, a little bit better, and now this one I think looks really, um, 
really interesting you know it's just got a lot of different um, just got a lot of different quality to it so let's see what else we can get and and then we'll try different colors too okay and put another one here I take these petals out while this is wet because otherwise it might be pretty difficult to remove them when the paint dries. See, I like that one too, even more. <laughs> so I think that's really um, the key is like getting off, you know, some of the excess paint. And then when you get down to where you're doing like I'm doing here and smashing it down, <laughs> that's when you get some cool effects, I think. Okay. So I'm going to lift that up. And still have more dried bits. Okay. And I think I might do this on a different page. Just because it might turn out really cute. And actually, I actually tore out the, um, the, the sheet with the word chrysanthemum on it, the dictionary page. So maybe I'll just add two or three onto this page that um, at the end, you know, and have lots of different colored ones on one page. That might be fun. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to lay this aside. And I'm going to see if I can just get anything else. Um, I did want to see about possibly, I might do it with another flower. These are really coming all to pieces. It's the green piece that's where the flower is attached to the stem that's breaking off right now. Let's see. Um, see if I can, I don't think there's a whole lot left on this plate here, but I thought I would just try and press that one down one more time that didn't get as much as the rest. Okay. That's good. That gives it a little bit more, a little more body to it there. Okay, well, I like that. That is really fun. Okay, these little petals. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to lay that down, keep that, let it dry, see what it looks like when it's dry. All right, let's get rid of all this. All right, I'm going to lay that aside to dry. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to put another color on this same plate. And um, see how that goes. Okay, let's try. Um, I think I want to try this red again with a couple of shades of pink inside. I think that would be really pretty. Nice and bright. So let's do that again. We'll put the, um, the red, um, yeah, let's put the red on the outside again. Okay, and then we'll do the pink color. Okay, now I've got to grab another flower. Oops. I'm cutting the end of it off to where it was in the water because I don't want to hang on to that wet stem. <clears throat> okay, so let's get another sheet and go again. Yeah. 
didn't get much red around the edges, so. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I think that's gonna be really pretty. Okay. Painty petals stick into my fingers. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, not bad. Pretty. I'm gonna press the darker pink in there again. You can do whatever you want <clears throat> with these. Put the color where you want it when you need extra. Yeah, I love it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do one on my chrysanthemum sheet. Let's see, maybe I'll put it, I'll just do it. Very cool. Let's see what it looks like. All right. And probably can use up a little bit more paint here. Just a little bit more of that red over here. Go. I think that one's okay. There we go. Okay, one more here. Cool. I love it. It's a fun way to do this. Make neat flowers. Okay. Set that aside. And get this dried stuff in here. Okay, I'm also going to do, um, I'm also going to do a uh, orange and yellow, one with shades of orange and yellow.
So this one's going to be the orange and yellows. Put a tiny bit of the orange in that center, right in the center of this time. Let's see what that does. Okay, got to get another flower. My daughter had no idea that when she gave me these pretty flowers, she was giving me art supplies, too. <laughs> but knowing her, she might have known. Okay, let's see. I think she knows her mama pretty well. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Pretty. I like that with the orange in the center too. That gives it a nice little pop of contrast. <sighs> oh, those are so pretty. I like it. off the dead stuff. <laughs> oh, love it. Okay, time to do one on my other sheet. So neat. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more of the orange out there. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, probably can get one more out of this. So I'll put it on here as well. Actually, I might put it on a separate sheet. I really like this color combo because it looks fallish, you know. Of course, they all look like fall, but this particular one I really like. So cool. Really, really cool. Okay, and uh, let's see. A little bit more left, so I'm going to just keep going, use it up.
There we go. Beautiful. All right. So, after seeing how cool the uh, centers looked, I might go back and add a little bit to uh, the centers of these, like add the darker tone, like we'll add a tiny bit of red here, and a tiny bit of red here, and we'll use those flowers, and we'll put the little dark in the centers of those. So we'll start with the first one, and... if we can't get a little bit of a red in the center. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That is so cool. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit in the center of this one. Same thing with the, um, the pinker one. I need a tiny bit more. that one and this is the one that says uh, chrysanthemum right up here in the on the dictionary <laughs> cool huh love it okay now this I can keep and um, use it to um, punch shapes out of uh, it, would be, it would make a nice sturdy um, bottom layer say of flowers for an embellishment like use a scallop circle or whatever shape so I think that's kind of cool so that's what I'm going to do with that I'm going to set that aside to dry and let's see I really need to decide now which color that I do I want to use on, um, on the canvas so I'm thinking, I was thinking I would just do one, um, one flower on the canvas. So, I guess I better think about that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided uh, the one that I want to do on the canvas, I don't know if it's the one you voted for or not, but I'm going to go with this one, the pinks. I really like how bright and and pretty that looks and and yet it still looks like a fall mum you know to me so I'm gonna go with the pink one so I'm going to bring my paper plate back and put the colors back on it again make sure I don't have any dried bits okay oops and I think my flower is still in pretty good shape look how pretty that looks just for a dried flower <laughs> And the inside of that is the natural color, which is also really pretty. I might add some yellow to this flower because that is so pretty to me. So, yes, I'm going to do that. It's decided. I think I'll add a little bit of the yellow in with that pink. And I think I'm going to use a brighter yellow. Um, that other one was okay, but because this flower is bright, I'm going to use a brighter yellow. Uh, let's see here. This one will be 
good. Put a little of that in there. And some more red. Which is probably going to turn this a bit orangey, but we'll have fun seeing, won't we? <laughs> so I'm going to do a practice one. Um, I'll do it on here, I guess. Because I like to get a couple of them done before I just before I do my the one I want to use in the project because they just seem to turn out best a little less paint and and all goes on those so that's kind of pretty I don't really get much in the red so I'm gonna to need to go around and pick some up here okay Yep, not enough red out there. I'm gonna transfer some of that there. A little bit heavy, the paint's a little heavy. really pretty. <clears throat> okay, tap that out. It's pretty. All right. So I'm going to get ready to do this one. And open up these little petals folded in on themselves. There we go. Keep our fingers crossed that it works. If not, I'm sure I can make it make something out of it. We'll just keep printing it until we get it the way we want it. At this point, there's not as much paint <clears throat> going on the flower, so it should be fine. Make sure I'm getting uh, some of that red. Okay. Getting a just tiny bit more red right in the center. Just to make sure that we get that little area. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. Go. Let's see. Big reveal. If it'll let go. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Oh, that is so pretty. Bit of dry bits here. Alright, I'm going to do what I did before and just kind of print some of the red again where it skipped a little bit. There we go. That looks so awesome. I <laughs> love that. Okay, now, I tried something else, and I'm going to see if this works. Um, I want to make uh, a stem for this flower, and I want to have another little one coming up off of that stem, but it's going to be not quite open yet. So what I did is I took another flower and I pulled a lot of the petals off. You can see there's you know, very little left here. And kind of like mashed it in uh, just a little bit because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the ink right across here 
I mean the paint, <laughs> right across here. And to hold the petals together, because they haven't, this one is supposedly not open yet, I put a little rubber band uh, on the bottom of the flower there just to kind of hold those petals in place there. And it kind of just squeezes them together. So I'm going to try that. So this time I will need to just make like a small arc uh, to dip the paint into. I think I'm not going to mess up that, that one because that is so pretty there. I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> do a new area. So what I'll do is probably just get another plate here. So I'm going to do a small arc like that. I think that's enough. And I'll do a little bit of the other pink. yellow which I love that yellow okay and I'm not gonna put the inside color because of course that yellow is sort of an inside color too but I think it'll be okay <clears throat> and I'm gonna just practice I'm not gonna print on this one just yet I'm gonna practice and maybe put it over here just to see how it's gonna look because I don't even know I've never done this so it's just an idea that I had to make a cute little um, new bloom, so to speak. So let's see what it's going to look like. I'm still going to hold those in just a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay, that's the right idea. A little too much paint, but you can keep practicing it. Get it just right. I think I don't like all of the yellow there. Take some of that away. Okay. And add a little bit. Maybe I will add a tiny bit of the red here. Maybe you'll, maybe we can <clears throat> make a little bit of a um, maybe you can make a little bit of a orangey type color there. So let's do it again. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's put this back over and add this little bloom over here. Like thinking right about maybe here. Okay. Okay. Let's see right here. go. Okay, I need a tiny bit of the pink color, I think. Come on. There we go. I need a tiny bit of that. Right here. <laughs> there we go. And then probably need to add a little bit more there since we've got these petals that are printing outside the area there. We need to maybe bring it on around. <clears throat> Oops, I might have to fix that. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. It did just exactly what I wanted it to do. Yay. All right. So, I'll be back in just a minute and we'll add stems and leaves.
Okay, so here's where we are. Um, you guys saw uh, that I had drawn out uh, the stem and the leaves with a pencil uh, before I began painting it, uh, painting it in. And uh, I wanted to show you that this word, uh, hope, is a die that is from the Little Yellow Bicycle Company <clears throat> that says hope, uh, one says dream, and one says believe. And so I just used the one uh, for the word hope. And then I added a few pieces of washi tape uh, that were sent to me in Happy Mail. I pretty much consider this finished now. This is the next day that I'm recording this last part here. <clears throat> and um, as I look at it, I feel like it needs some splatters. So I'm gonna do a little bit of splatters. I'm gonna use the two colors of the pinks, um, the dark one and the medium dark one. And I'm just gonna water them down a little bit <clears throat> and just put a few here and there. I'm not gonna cover the entire um, canvas or anything, just a little bit here and there, just to, you know, fill in a little bit of the white space and, um, and just to make it a little more, a little bit more colorful where the white is. Uh, I do like the addition of the washi tape. I think that looks pretty cool. So I think this will help as well. I can get the paint out. There we go. <clears throat> and just put a little water in here. <clears throat> And I've got a brush that's kind of full, so it kind of holds a lot of um, holds a lot of the color, watery paint. So you can see that this is just watery, <clears throat> watery paint, and I'll have extra left over. I'll use it up someplace else. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna just try to kind of keep it contained. I don't want it dripping wet, but just have a few like that and then do a, a like that here and there. And then I'll do the same thing with the darker one. There. Okay. <clears throat> Get a little bit past the border there, on the outside of the border. That looks kind of nice. Okay, so I'm gonna just wipe my brush off. I've got a book over here that I'm <clears throat> wiping off into. Now I'm gonna go over here and mix this one. And I think this just adds a little bit of extra whimsy and fun and color <clears throat> to the page. I just like that a lot. I think that really, that really helps it. There we go. I got a tiny bit there on the, the leaf. So I'm gonna wipe that <clears throat> just because it, it doesn't really need to be on the leaves or on the flower. So I don't care about the flower. The flower's pink anyway, but I just don't wanna add too much of that on the uh, plant. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so you guys, I really, really had fun doing this, so I hope y'all will give it a try to grab a flower and just have fun, you know, dipping it in some paint and, and get carried away with it, <laughs> just like I did. You'll make lots of fun, um, Lots of fun prints and um, 
I just, I'd really, really be interested to see what you guys do, you know, what kind of flowers you use. And so I'll be looking forward to seeing those uh, pictures in the group. Um, that's Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. Got more on that stem that time. There we go. So I hope you have fun and I hope you will give it a try. And um, I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.